Good morning everyone, I am Shweta Vinay Bhumbarwadi, Assistant Professor in Microbiology from Sikhe Thakur College, New Panvel. So today we will discuss about the bioassay which is a term frequently used in fermentation technology. So in fermentation technology, whenever there is a product formation, we need to assay it. Now what is assay? Assay it is to de determine the unknown concentration of that compound. So what is the definition of bioassay? That is a measurement of the concentration of potency of a substance by its effect on living cells or tissues. Or it can be termed as a bioassay is an analytical method to determine the concentration or potency of absorbance by its effect on living organism. Means whatever is the product, that product effect is checked on a test organism, whether it is stimulatory or inhibitory. What is the principle behind this? Uh, the microbiological assay is based upon a comparison of the inhibition or exhibition of growth of microorganism by measured concentration of the compound to be examined with that produced by known concentration of a standard preparation of the compound having a known activity. So here is the comparison between the standard compound and our produced compound. Yes, these are the different types of bioassay. The diffusion assay, turbidometric assay, metabolic response assay and enzymatic assay. From this, today we will discuss in this session about the diffusion assay. Which is frequently used in the laboratories also. So what is diffusion assay? Diffusion assay carried out on solid media, usually on agar medium, which is suitable for the growth of the test organism. Here the test organism used according to the our product. Now the compound to be tested is allowed to diffuse through the medium in a radial fashion from a pad or cup or well so that the adjacent growth of the test organism is depressed either as with an antibi antibiotic or it may be a vitamin. In antibiotic we can say there is an in a inhibition zone as antibiotic is an antimicrobial agent which uh, inhibits the growth of microorganism and in case of vitamin we can see the zone of exhibition where the vitamin is acting as a growth factor. So the zone of diameters of the standard plotted against the logarithms of the concentration used and the linear portion of this graph used for the determination of the actual concentration of the sample which is to be assayed. Yes, here we can use two methods. Uh, the first one is cylinder method and the second one is paper disc method. In cylinder method where we can use Yes, this is the diagram of cylinder method. In this cylinder method, uh, we can use the uh, agar medium and agar in agar medium, we can uh, apply the our components. Okay, uh, we prepare the cylinders and in that cylinders, we can apply our different concentration of the standard, co uh, standard compound and then along with standards, we can also run the unknown also. Okay, and then we can observe the plate after incubation like this where we can see the different zones against the cylinders and then you can plot a graph we can plot a graph which is on x axis concentration of our compound that is standard compound and on y axis we can use the zone of diameter in mm Okay. The zone here we are applying antimicrobial agent so you can observe here the zone of inhibition then you will uh, you can plot a graph which is straight line and then determine the unknown concentration the uh, uh, diameter of unknown against this graph. Yes. So this is the simple method where we can this is the simple method where uh, we can check the concentration of our unknown product. In second method, in paper disc method, the same technique is applied. Uh, instead of using cylinders, here we can use the paper disc. Uh, a known diameter that is 12.8 millimeter which is the standard size of the paper disc is dipped in different concentrations of the standard compound. And uh, uh, some paper disc will be dipped into the unknown compound also. And these paper discs were applied on the agar medium. Then incubate the plates after incubation you will observe the zone of inhibition as uh, the medium is sealed with the test organism as I, I, I say uh, in uh, antibiotics we can use the um, organism for example if we are using the antibiotic penicillin biase then we can use organism which is sensitive to the penicillin like st uh, staphylococcus aureus and in vitamin assay we can use the E. coli Davis.
here you can say the paper disc method diagram where the plate shows again a zone of inhibition as here we are uh, using the antibiotic or we can assay the antibiotic area so zone of inhibition is observed over here zone of inhibition is observed over here and again we will plot a graph just measure the zone of inhibition of standards and unknown in graph on x axis again concentration of our compound on y axis again there is a uh, zone of diameter in mm then plot a straight line graph and determine the unknown concentration of your product so this is the diffusion assay method where we can apply both paper disc method as well as cylinder method for the uh, determination of unknown concentration of our uh, product that is which is fermented by different fermentation methodology so in next slide we will observe the uh, we will study about the different methods of the bias thank you very much